a case like this is uh, disheartening to the entire department. A humbling moment for New York's police commissioner. Standing next to the U.S. District Attorney, Ray Kelly, listen to the charges against eight active and retired NYPD officers. The charges unsealed today include conspiracy to distribute firearms and conspiracy to distribute over $1 million in stolen goods. As part of a two-year sting operation, 12 people were charged with smuggling guns, cigarettes, and stolen slot machines. Four of them were cops, the men responsible for keeping guns off the streets. Four active duty and two retired NYPD officers illegally transported what they believed to be dangerous firearms. Those included three M16 rifles, one shotgun, and 16 handguns the majority of which had been altered or defaced to remove the serial numbers and render them untraceable. Authorities say the men allegedly used their badges to help facilitate the deals. All in all, the men allegedly pocketed around $100,000 in cash. The arrests come as a blow to an already troubled police department riddled with allegations of corruption. Recent claims of planting drugs to meet arrest quotas and charges are expected to be filed in a ticket fixing scandals in the days ahead. At Tuesday's press conference, Commissioner Kelly admitted corruption is a problem. We have over a thousand people in the department focused on internal investigations. Uh, that's as many people as we devote to uh, account of terrorism. Kelly says all the men charged have been placed on suspension from the force. In New York, Bonnie Ghosh, Associated Press.